What's up explorers, we're inside an abandoned amusement park here in the UK called Camelot. Now the whole theme park is based off of the story King Arthur and the Knights. The reason why the theme park closed is because they actually weren't getting business anymore. Um, around 2009 is when they really seen a big decline and they're like, well, I don't think we can run it no more. And the land is actually worth so much money. They, they, so what they want to do is they want to build tons of houses here and they want to sell all the houses. They're going to make so much more money than what this theme park is worth actually right now. And I mean, honestly, everyone's been here. Their grandmas, their moms, just like uh, Denby. Everyone's been here, everyone knows about Camelot, but it's a place that I always wanted to do, and it's a place I've never done before. So because I haven't done it, I'm going here just like I did Noisy, and just like I did Denby. These are places that I always wanted to do, I never got to do, so I'm here. So right here's the castle. We just have to go right there, we can check out how it looks. This is really cool. I thought this place was completely, completely trashed, but yeah, it doesn't seem like it really is. <laughs> Yo, this is the second abandoned castle I've ever seen. You know, Narjeeland is still the best theme park ever that's abandoned, but it's still cool to see this. And it's in the UK. Apparently, what used to be is this was a drawbridge right here, and over here was a moat of water, and they actually removed it. But you can still make out the water. As you can see, a lot of Camelot is overgrown. He's pretending he's a spy. <laughs> Sometimes when I go to abandoned places, I like to pretend like I'm on like a like a, a mission, like I'm a spy and I'm on a mission trying to get a package. <laughs> we are crawling through the overgrown nature. Dude, this is like Jurassic Park. This is really like Jurassic Park. There's a random gate here. Like one of those old Renaissance gates. Here was our old like dungeon theater. We just can't fall. I'm not sure how long I can do this for, but we're just gonna wing it out. That is like like a green camel. place of where all the horses and knights would be. We're now approaching the medieval village. You know where like merchants and games would be. This little strip. See it looks like games would be there. Some games could have been in there too. These are a message from Urban Explorers. They said save Camelot. And Story Homes is actually the business that bought this place out right now. They're actually putting all houses here. 
And so, you know, people love Camelot, so they have a passion and love for it. They've been here when they were younger, and you know, it causes a controversy. I just met up with everyone again. We're at the HQ. We're calling it the HQ. Right in front of me is the roller coaster. Check it out. And over here is the bumper cars and stuff, which is really sick. Apparently someone actually died here two months ago. They fell off of it, and that's why they actually put a fence around it. That's why I saw all those RIP signs. So many people in like the bit where we're in, everyone was like, RIP, RIP. Did you, did you, you saw it? Yeah, yeah, well, we were hiding now. Is that what they wrote? Because that guy died. RIP, come A lot of people uh, say right, RIP, right, come right. along. Right. I, I, I just, thought they meant that guy. Oh. Arena, shame yeah, yeah. Everyone loves Camelot. That's yeah. why they don't want people to, they don't want to build houses here. No. They, they want a theme park. It's nicer, it's cooler. Two, two of his friends and his dad used to actually own Camelot. It's crazy. And what, another cool thing about this place is that right here was their last installment of the place and this was a petting zoo back in the day. And the crazy thing about him is that his dad met his mom here, which is even crazier. So like, yeah, he really cares about this place. So they're knocking it down and everything. It's, I just think it's pretty insane. But this petting zoo is actually really cool too. Look at this, there's like a little village right here. Let's go over here. This was like the wash your hand sign. They'll make all the germs from the animals. Just all open land now. Please feel free to wander around the farm. It's so weird. The sign's in pristine condition. And here's the farm. It's all twisted here. <laughs> I wonder what kind of animals they used to have here. Probably like a goat, a pig, all that stuff. I just like how the like art looks here. The building shape. Explorers, we are done here in Camelot. Like, it is so cool. The theme of it, it was nice. Like, it's just so, so destroyed. That's the only thing I hate about it. I thought the castle was gonna be a bit bigger and stuff, but hey, it is what it is. I've actually been always wanting to come here for such a long time, and we did it. There's not much here left of the place, but it's a place I've always wanted to go to. I've seen it on many videos, and I don't care if everyone's done it. I really wanted to come here. I've been everywhere all around the world, all the band amusement parks. I had to see this one too, but we're not done here yet. We're actually going to Dan's house because Dan actually has the biggest UK collection of Pokemon cards in all of the UK. And I love Pokemon. I had my Blastoise, my Charizard back in the day. I even had a Japanese Charizard. So it's gonna be amazing to go to Dan's house and open up an untouched 1998 and 1999 pack of cards, Pokemon, that I used to open up when I was a kid. It's gonna feel so weird opening up this. Like, I actually can't wait. I had to put this in the video and we're gonna go eat at his house. We're just all here, man. We're, we're squatted up right now, man. This is it, that's how we do. We're just making YouTube videos, traveling around and just filming, it's fun. I've been buying, I used to buy like three boxes. We used to smear Dude, yeah. that is so weird to look at. Yeah, my dad is even mad at No. Base set. Base sets? Those are when I first started, that's legit. These are the number one card packs. This oh was like, when I was like nine years old, maybe. Same. I want to keep the plastic, but. Dude, this is so weird. Oh, Pikachu though. I have a Pikachu. That's that's good. Oh, I got it. All right, Abra's okay. A chomp. It's gonna come soon. I don't think it's Charizard. But who knows? Our boys might be getting something good. But dude, seriously, I have a Pikachu. I don't care. What's really good? Wait, what'd you get? Shiny Raichu. Oh my, oh my god! Oh my god! This one's a good one, right? Yeah. You gotta ride you. What's the Explorers, I just opened up a Japanese deck. Look what I pulled out. Look at this. I just got a freaking. I just got a Dragon Knight. No! So nice! Oh, my favorite. This is my favorite Pokemon. Yeah. Alright, well, here's the boarding school. 
Found the girl's bathroom. It's just freaky how there's like a like a dead body bag here, you know? It looks like someone's just in the bag dead.